Hi everybody, Liz and Annie here, and we're back making another video with some of our colleagues who have graciously agreed to help us out today. So I'm here with my colleague Rachel, my colleague Kate, Diamond, and Kalina. And so what we wanted to do first is uh, kind of, well, check in. It's been a long summer. We haven't all seen each other in a while because we've been kind of scattered, not to the four corners of the earth, but to maybe the four corners of our living room or houses. Um, and there's all these Zoom updates uh, video and appearance related changes that they've made in the software. And so we wanted to kind of demonstrate the wealth of variability and variety that people now have at their disposal for thinking about remote teaching and meetings and all the other stuff we're all going to be doing in Zoom for the foreseeable future and uh, helping people understand how to best customize what they might want their background or potentially like filter that they're applying to their video to look like. So uh, I think we have a range already going here of what people have decided they'd like to play with. So um, I can tell you that like Annie probably has nothing going on. Is that right? Okay, so Annie's right. straight up Annie. I also don't have anything going on. Uh, Rachel's got two things. So Rachel has both a filter and a background. Kate's got a filter. Diamond's got a background. And Kalina has nothing going on. Is that right? Okay, so we all also, in addition to having different versions of the software, uh, we all have different operating systems on our computers and different uh, processing powers and that will affect what you're able to do. But I do wanna show uh, anybody who might be interested all the different ways you can navigate to this. So I'm gonna go down here, click on my little like uh, carrot that's next to my stop video icon down here. Open, I could open video settings. We'll start there actually so I can show you something that Kalina might want to do or that people who don't have anything applied might want to do. And now, uh, so Kalina, maybe see if you can follow along with this. This may not work on yours, so this would be good to know. Um, open your video settings. Yeah. Okay. And then you should, with the new software update, have a new option that is adjust for low light. Do you see that? Yes. Your, okay, so yeah. it should be, well, mine is clicked Ooh. and it's on auto, but you can click it and set it to manual. Yeah. And then you Not can me. increase it. So even if you don't have your lighting set up in a way that's going to, you know, best highlight your bone structure and let your students see you when you're teaching or whatever the goal might be, you can, you can use the new Zoom feature to... <laughs> Don't go that far, but like within reason to apply it a little bit and that will adjust for any of the low lighting that we all occasionally experience, like when the sun goes behind the cloud or... Uh, no, I'm trying to um, lighten my eye bags under my eyes, mm -hmm, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to like just... Yeah, so I'll show, you, I'll show you what I'm able to do. I already have light going, but I can blow it out. Uh, can everyone just really quickly see, see if they can blow out their lighting? Cool. Great. Mine looks the worst so far. Okay. <laughs> we all look like overexposed pol Polaroids. Polaroids. Okay. Uh, uh, people, Rachel Diamond, are you guys able to do this? Is this not working on your, your end? Um, I just forgot where it was. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's under video settings. And if you can't do it, it's no big deal. I'm going to set mine back to auto. Turn that off. Okay, the other thing, okay. we've talked about this before, there's a touch of my appearance sliding scale now, so I'll just show you. You can get really attractive in all your all your videos if you want to. Everyone can feel free to play with that too. Okay, so not all of us have the same filters and background options because of the OSs that we're running or the, uh, I guess, operating system is true across Mac and PC platforms, but uh, some of us can and some of us can't do this. So. Everyone has kind of chosen what they like the most. Uh, Rachel, can you tell us what you've chosen? So I chose a UCR one um, to prepare for, oops, to prepare, prepare for my teaching. Oh, so you're gonna teach from your home, but you're gonna have that virtual background set up so that no one sees your actual living room or your bedroom. That's right. Okay, and the mask is? Um... Safeness. <laughs> Just how we live now, right? I was gonna say like, sometimes you have to adjust your lighting because wildfires have blotted out the sun and everything is orange and it's different than how you thought you were setting it up. So just gotta be flexible and Zoom allows you some flexibility in what you wanna do. Uh, hey Kate, what what have you, what's this? It seems like a political message potentially. <laughs> the nonpartisan political message mm -hmm. to get engaged mm -hmm. and call Congress to tell them things you want them to do. Okay. You're wondering about the phone numbers. What? <laughs> 
Okay, and uh, hey Diamond, I see that you have a cool video background. Is this a place that you've recently visited? No, it's not, but I wish I had visited it. I figure that in teaching this will prime some kind of relaxation for any <laughs> stress that we may have. And so I hope it's uh, calming to everybody now. Oh, well, that's fabulous. I see Kate has found some of the other filters. So Rachel's got a mask. Kate's got, is it mouse? That's my best guess. Hamster. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So some of us can do this and some of us cannot. So I want to show you where you find this. It's under video settings, but now, or under settings, I could get there going stop video next to the carrot next to it, video filter or virtual background instead of going to the settings and then it pops up here. Virtual backgrounds and filters are on different tabs. So virtual backgrounds, Zoom pre-installs a couple. We have talked about these before. Um, I mean, Annie and I have, we have decided we have a lot of the same ones ready to go in case we need them for any particular reason when we're making tutorials or like potentially teaching. This is my all time favorite. And I think I will, if I use a virtual background, it'll be this more than anything else. But you, I mean, you can find these on the internet. We didn't make these just to be clear. You just Google zoom backgrounds, download them, and then you can add them to your account by going over here and, and uh, hitting this little plus sign. So you can upload images or video if your computer will run that kind of thing like that. The more interesting new addition and one of their new software updates is video filters. So this is where, uh, so, okay, now everybody's got multiple things going. So you can have a background and a filter and you can change your filter. So Rachel's got a mask, now Kate's got a mask. Annie has something on her face. What is it? Um, it's a sprout okay. and a blush. Okay, right. So that'll come in handy, I guess, when we're teaching. Or if you're in a meeting that's long and you need to like break it up a little bit. And then Kalina, I think you had mentioned you aren't seeing these options on your computer. Yeah. So this may not be available to everybody. I'm not seeing them. Okay. Yes, Kate. I would just also note that you don't just have to look for Zoom backgrounds. Any picture can be used as a Zoom background. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you took a picture that you really want, some people who are, I find deeply hilarious, have taken a static picture of their actual living room and then have put themselves that as their background while they're sitting in their actual living room. So sort of like the waterfall thing, but that's not what my living room looks like. Um, and then you can do, you can do like fun pranks with your students or with people in your meetings um, by disappearing into your literal actual background that you've selected as a fake virtual background. You can also upload videos as your background if your computer will run it like Diamonds is doing or like other people's have done. So, okay, so this, uh, you could play with this. Oh, I didn't even mention, there's other ways you can filter things. So if everyone could like help me out by showing as many examples as we can in a couple of minutes, go to filter. And then if everybody could just like kind of apply some filters, like the frames, the different borders. Yes, yeah, so Annie's in a movie theater, Kate's happy, Rachel's on an old TV and also got cool. Wow, wow, Rachel's just cranking through it, cool. Uh, Annie and Kate have stopped. Nope. No. Nope. Annie, Annie's Sorry. got a lot of hats. There's many hat options. Kalina feels left out. Diamond feels left out because this doesn't work yet on their, on their end. But yeah, so some of these, obviously, thank you guys for demonstrating. Kate's also showing the like, uh, I want to call them Instagram filters, but I don't know if that's appropriate, but like the, you know, video color filter, you can apply to the whole thing if you like a particular look for your your videos that you might be recording or the, the video that you're portraying or projecting out into the world when you're recording with your students okay rachel that's a very complicated scene you've got um it's from it's from up but is the pirate stuff from up yes oh my bad okay cool <laughs> okay so we would say you might want to play around with this i feel the same about these as i do uh some of the other innovations that Zoom has included, like if you want to do this, if there's some reason you don't want your students seeing your background, no problem. If you think you're fine with them seeing what your space looks like or the blank wall behind you where you might be teaching from your office, also no problem. It's kind of uh, up to the individual instructor what makes the most sense to do or include. Uh, I will work also making this video because your students will have this option, which means your students will be able to be changing their backgrounds, like maybe sarcastically reacting to or in an affirmative way reacting to something that you might be covering in the lecture or in the class 
with some of these video filters too. So uh, in case you are thrown by that or surprised by that, we just want everyone to be aware. Like everybody who's in Zoom, yes, thank you, Annie, is gonna have this whole repertoire of things that they're at their fingertips going forward. Okay, does anybody have anything else to add about this or point out? Like this is highly variable in terms of like what we've all decided we like to show to people, it's individualized for sure. But if none of this works for you, no problem. Like. We mentioned this in a conversation we were having earlier, but like Colleen is just actually in her office, but her background looks spectacular. So that like there's no harm there for like having that be your Zoom background. Same with Kate, like she's in her actual room, or not her room, like her bedroom, but like a room where she does a lot of her Zoom meetings and like that's a totally appropriate background. Annie's got a totally appropriate and more neutral and more simple background too. So whatever you do, whatever you can make work, it's all gonna be fine. But these are options that your students will definitely have and probably be incorporating into their engagement with your class. So good luck with this. We'll be back really soon actually with a bunch of more stuff.